What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, vibes it up in the kitchen. Going to do a little braised ribs, something. Thought I'd bring out the camera. Who knows, maybe you guys would find it interesting. Not necessarily a Caribbean recipe. So I don't think it will be posted on CaribbeanPod.com. However, I know some of you will want to be able to print this, so I will post it on ChrisDeLaRosa.com. Check out that website, man. Your boy doing nice things on there as well. So here we go. Braised short ribs. Kind of expensive, you know, but so delicious. I've got a nice wide pan. Now here's the thing, guys. I am going to start this on the stove. And I'm going to transfer it into a baking dish and finish it off in the oven. My oven is preheating at 375 degrees. You can certainly finish it right here if you want. It's just that in the oven is more convenient for me. Some vegetable oil. Pan is nice and warm. And I've got here my beef ribs, uh, this is about two and a half to three pounds, which has been seasoned with salt and pepper. And we just want to go in, we just want to brown these up. Just to give it some color and to, um, to help develop some flavors. After a few minutes, you just want to flip them over just to make sure we get nice brown edges and that golden something happening in there. They've browned off nicely, so I'm just going to turn my heat down to low. All the while my heat was on medium. I'm going to remove these and set them aside. And we want to get to the bottom down there and do some fun stuff here. I've got here three small cloves of garlic that I just smashed with the back of my knife. And my heat is on low because I don't want to burn this garlic. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with some pepper flakes. That's just some crushed red pepper flakes. And I've got here some fresh thyme stems and everything is going to go in there. And let that slowly cook for about two minutes. I've also got some pearl onions. And if you can get the frozen ones, that would be ideal. This here takes a minute to take the skins off of here. I'm going to move that around for a second. I've also got about three, well not about, I've got three all spice berries. I'm just going to toss in there. And I've got some flour, just some all purpose flour. I'm just going to sprinkle around in there. Heat's still on low. We want to cook off that flour. That flour is going to help us develop a nice thick gravy at the end. You really want to make sure you mix that flour into the fat and that it cooks down because you don't want that raw flour taste later on. Next up I've got some tomato puree. This is just concentrated tomato. And that's about a tablespoon or so. And I'm just going to move that around. That's just going to help with that gravy. Make it nice and rich later on as well. Let's move that around a bit. And by doing this here, just is really going to allow that um, the natural sweetness of that tomato to really shine through. Let's give it a minute. Now it's time to deglaze the bottom of that pan there. And I've got some Merlot. And you want to go in with about a cup or so of that Merlot. Bring that up to a bowl and you want to use your, your spoon or whatever. I'm using the tongs here. Just to scrape bottom of this pan because you really want to get now if you're finishing this on the stove you don't have to worry about it too much but I'm finishing this in the oven as I said so I really want to get all those flavors out from there to help this dish stretch for a bit more people I'm gonna go in with some carrots and it's time now to add back the uh, break the brown pieces of beef back to the pot. Turn my heat up to high. I'm going to go in with a bit of salt. Remember we already salted that beef and I'm going in with beef stock. You want to have enough beef stock in there to cover everything once you put it into your baking dish. And bring that up to a boil. Remember that beef stock is going to be loaded in sodium as well so be mindful of how much salt you add to the dish. 
as it comes up to a boil, I'm just going to let it boil for about one or two minutes just to make sure everything comes together nicely. And as I said, my oven is preheating at 375. I've got my oven proof dish here. I'm just going to transfer it into here. Just be careful when you're doing that. If you want, you can certainly put the lid on here and put that down on a very low heat and let that gently cook right here on the stove top or transfer it to a slow cooker. But those are the options. It's all ready for the oven now. I'm just going to put some tin foil over that into the oven, 375 degree on the middle rack. It's been going in the oven now for a couple hours, so two hours. And this is what you're left with. You're going to see the, the meat is going to start pulling back from the bones. This is wicked. All I'm going to do here now to brighten it up a little bit, I've got some chopped parsley. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, not your typical Caribbean dish, but very short ribs. We've got that carrots in there, we've got the pearl onions, and a ton of flavor. If you want to kick things up, I mean, they say you can go with your scotch bonnet, you can go in with uh, with any other ingredients you like, but delightful. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Taste it for salt, adjust it, and enjoy.